Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Yes. Sheesh. Guys, if you have a fragile Eno, do not train with her. <laughs> she may also be known as Eagle Smasher. <laughs> PR lifestyle is more than just hitting a PR in the squat bench or deadlifts. A PR could be going a week without skipping a meal. It's about being the best version of yourself, always improving. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with potentially the most impressive back I've seen on the female. Thank you. Yes, honestly, you've outdone yourself. Um, and that's actually how we made Survive happen. We started walking around Bonos and saying, wow, look at that back. We got to collaborate with her. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> Free pump, mind you. Uh, so, you do have a thing about doing deadlifts from the floor, right? Yeah. So, she's going to do them off the rack. I'm not going to bring the curse of Larry Wheels into effect today, right? No potential injury. I mean, he's not doing that list. He's not be doing that Exactly. List. Yeah, I'll do enough weight for the both of us. And that's the theme of today's workout. It's back. I'm going to do some deadlifts. Heavy, mixed grip, no strap. I am preparing for a mock meet in several weeks. And yeah, let's get to our next part. Let's do it. All right. Deadlifts, uh, today I believe it's just going to be four sets of five, I believe. So we'll be here for a little bit, maybe 20. 25 minutes. Um, I'm just gonna warm up quickly, probably up to about my working set, which be six or seven plates, something like that. Okay. How about yourself? I would like 10 times less weight. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll try to do kind of similar thing, work up and then do four sets of five. Exactly. Five That's the plan. Yeah, four sets of five. So, you don't need to lift heavy to build a big pack like that? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Part-time heavy lifter. <laughs> Part time Well, it's a full-time job for me. I think the one thing that I avoid is that lift. Like, I lift heavy, just don't do that. I'm trying to keep my waist small. That's true, yeah. It does make a significant difference. Every squat that lives so between the waist. When it comes to like and everything, I lift heavy. But the lifts are rather do rack pulls. And then it's a good thing. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, bodybuilding is all about keeping that V taper, right? And the X-ray. The X-ray. That's right, the X-ray. Yeah, I'm going to get my liquid chalk on. I have some of them. We get to that working set. It's gonna be tough. So six plates to working set. Um, my working set will be a five rep max. Just warming up till I get there. Uh, I'm actually cutting back the volume this week, as of today, because I did a five rep max on squat. My knees are kind of inflamed because I was doing a lot of volume of squats lately last month. I did a five rep max on bench. 
So I was like, that's, I'm at that area of my program where I'm testing where my five rep max is. Um, and if I do four sets today after doing those other five rep maxes, I'm gonna feel it on Monday for squats. So I have to just adjust the volume a bit while still getting like a good set in. Yeah. But are you gonna still do the four sets? Yeah. Maybe you can teach me something. I can go to. Sure, I can try. So five, five reps, right? Exactly. So work up to a five rep max, but leave one or two in the tank. So don't go to your absolute failure. Uh, try and leave one or two reps in the tank. I can help you out with that. I can call it. Man. Oh wow! Beautiful. Rack pose as if that could easily be a set of 15 for you. You know what they say? I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> you just woke up like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Uh, I'd love to impart some wisdom, but there's really nothing to say except keep your arms a bit straighter yeah. if you can. I'm sure you can actually. It gets tough when you're straining under heavy load to not want to pull with your arms and with your traps. But if you can keep your elbows locked, it'll just be safer for your biceps and uh, it'll force you to keep a better back position. When you start to bend your arm and it gets heavy, you'll tend to want to try and hitch it and get into like a improper technique. So it's better, uh, even when it feels like if you flex it just a little bit, it'll get you that inch you need, but it's always better to keep your arms locked. Uh, and at, when it gets to your true fiber at max, there's gonna be some temptation to want to get under the bar and kind of like, rest it on your legs and drag it up this way. So just do your best when that time comes, keep them locked, and lock the knees if you have to. Uh, it's better to lock your knees first, right, when it gets heavy, than to drag it up your legs like this block with pitching it. So my back with my knees locked. What's that? So start with my knees locked. Not with your knees locked, no. Um, so I just let out a lot of information, but not with your knees locked. You can start with the bar, your hips a bit more behind the bar as opposed to standing right over it, right? Yeah. Um, here, then you have a better leverage to pull from. If you're standing over the bar, like almost on your toes, yeah. and then you start the pull, there'll be a greater strain on your lower back. And if you're doing these to develop your upper back, right? So you can get your hips a bit further back, like almost as if you're stopping yourself from falling over. Knees right up against the bar, and then start moving from there. Got it. And you'll, you'll be in a much stronger position. Um, and you haven't done it, but I'm just also telling the people who are watching that when it gets really heavy, you're gonna want to drag up your legs like that. Right, when your back starts to give out, and you're gonna start wanna try and row it up to get an extra inch. So I'm just saying to those who don't know, keep your elbows locked and drive as hard as you can with your legs, and it's okay if your knees lock first. Uh, that's a better position to be in than to be here and kind of resting on your legs. So I'm trying to explain to both of you, <laughs> the channel and you as well. Um, Thank you for the pep talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a lot of information at once, but the one thing you can take away from that is just sitting behind the bar a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, more of your weight behind the bar. In years, uh, the last time I did them, I was definitely in America, and rather than a rack pull, I would do block pulls. Yeah, yeah. You know, I would do block pulls, which is essentially training the same muscle group. It's from the same range of motion. It's just instead of the weight being supported by the rack, it's supported by the plates with a couple mats underneath. Uh, but I truly believe in deficit, where you stand on a plate, and I believe in, yeah. Deficit, exactly, yeah. but. Okay, so you did do full dose before. Yeah, I just had to stop because I've noticed the difference in my waist. Yeah. So, just yeah. like everything else, waist grows, you know? So, yeah. I'll protect the waist. So then, what uh, what was your waist like back then? Oh, sorry, what was your <laughs> weight? <laughs> what was the weight you were handling back then on deadlifts? <laughs> I was able to pull four plates. Four plates. But from deficit, only three and a half. 
I couldn't do more. That's pretty damn good, actually. Because you weren't focusing on being a powerlifter, right? You were yeah. doing deadlifts to build your back. Like you weren't. I used to like, I used to like lift heavy stuff, and then I realized, hold on, I sound a pro now. I'm professional. What am I doing? I can't just like lift weights. I need to focus on what I need to build. So, yeah. You missed it at all. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Here we have four or five. Plays. I can just take one plate off, and you can do a set on the floor. You know. I would say. Nothing gives you adrenaline quite like heavy deadlifts. Yeah. Heavy squats, heavy bench are fun, but something about lifting something heavy from the floor is like very fine and waking something inside. I understand. Yeah. yeah. Well, that bar is definitely bending. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Watch my back. Yes. Straight, lock for double, yep. Yep. Nice. Yep. Well done. Well done. That was heavy. <laughs> was it? Didn't look it. Not in your hands. Look very manageable. They asked me what, what I have for breakfast. <laughs> what I have for breakfast. This is what she had for breakfast. <laughs> Bouncing the bar. You know. Bouncing? Aha. Uh -huh. like, I can lift more. But as long as you're dropping and picking up. With the nurse. momentum, when the weight's not yeah. totally settled, right? I'll either like, actually pick up, you know, put it down and put it back up. That's a proper way to, to do it. And that's building strength as well. Picking yeah. it up from a, a dead stop. Yeah. I mean, I avoid doing the same thing on deadlifts when I ever... I used to do them touch and go often, yeah. which is actually good from a hypertrophy standpoint when you're trying yeah. to keep tension on the muscle. But if you're trying to build strength and, and mimic and train for a one rep max, each rep should be from a complete dead stop. Yeah. So I think it's actually okay, uh, not if you're bouncing it, but if you're gently touching it yeah. and coming back up, as opposed to just letting it slam and use that momentum. Because touching what can be done, I think with a great emphasis for a hypertrophy, as long as it's actually a touch, not a slam or a bounce to yeah. use that momentum to get it up. As I mentioned earlier, I'm adjusting my volume for today's workout. As my did squats this week on Monday, my knees are starting to feel a lot of inflammation. So instead of doing four sets before my five rep max, as we wanted me to do, I'm just gonna do one set of the five rep to see what my max is. So uh, I'm not feeling it too much on Monday when I have to do squats in a couple of days. So just one set, I think seven, which is 660, 300 kg, would be a reasonable place to start from for a five rep max. Um, last week I, the week, the week before last week, I think I tried seven, but I felt my callus tearing. Right, that's it. Yes. Yeah. Can you do the same weight? I'm going to add one more 20. Do that for five. Yeah, maybe I can go a little bit more, but he wants me to leave a rep or two in the tank anyway, so. Leave, leave some power for the bodybuilding stuff. Exactly. You know, after the deadlift. I don't want this to totally wipe me out, and then she's like dragging me across the gym to finish up the workout. <laughs> so we'll go up like a 10 and try that. All right, get your camo belts available now on purelifestyle.com. Ah, there we go. <laughs>
Fell apart. Went, went, went. Thinner plates. Thinner plates. Because the these plates are way too thick. You know what? The black Should've ones. Try the black ones. <laughs> You can still do it if you want. Uh, so two reasons why I'm going with straps right now. Grip was failing on the second rep a little bit. Mind you, I haven't used mixed grip deadlifts in a few years. So I need to build that strength back. Not to mention I'm doing arm wrestling training nearly every day, which is fatiguing my fingers. I just did a max effort finger wrist arm wrestling exercise day two days ago. Um, so that has a factor to play in all this as well. But the blessing in the sky is that the weight fell off. <clears throat> because I saved energy and didn't tear any callus uh, for doing a <clears throat> the set with straps, uh, of which I know I have no grip issue or anything like that. So to avoid what happened when I did the deadlift with the suit, removed the suit and did the same way without working my way back up, I'm gonna do six plates with the straps, do seven and then do seven and a 10. So I'm working my way up from like a medium range weight because the mechanics with mixed grip and strap belt is slightly different. So I want to make sure my CNS and everything is prepared for the change in the small subtle change in load and how I'm loading my body. I never thought the day would be here where I feel stronger with straps than without. <laughs> I always had a hard time getting used to straps. You're not missing it. 100%. 20 don't weigh it. It's 20 extra. She sounds like me now. When you think about it, it, it's like a half a plate more. Like, <laughs> This is TRT ladder, guys. <laughs> and you guys in the comments say, why are you gonna mention TRT every time? Because some people compare my previous lifts to my current lifts. But there's a special sauce secret missing from the recipe right now. What's the sauce? The Hulk sauce? Yeah, there's uh, Hulk coming about I put on today. The green stuff in my hand. Uh, yeah, that's supposed to be trend. <laughs> Without trend, there's a big difference with what I'm capable of. But that's why we're doing this on TRT to figure out what I am capable of. I did. <laughs> it took me like five minutes. <laughs> Got it. Yes. There you go. Kind of fit. I ran a mile the other day. That was cool. You ran? I did. I jogged. <laughs> better, better use of the term. I jogged a mile. It was 13 minutes. Terrible, but I got it done. And I didn't die at the end. I wouldn't say easy, but 
it's getting tough. Mm -hmm. 10 reps feels like a long time when you're doing mm -hmm. each one at a time. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yep. Out. Good. Yes. Sheesh. What a back. That back can do anything. Come on. Just get started. You gotta reinflate you. Come on. Oh yeah. Row. Row like your life depends on it. Come on. Yep. Four plate, you said you did four, that's when I asked you. Oh shit, well done. Uh, four plates. Guys, if you have a fragile Eno, do not train with her. <laughs> she may also be known as Eagle Smasher. The, 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 the Eagle Her? I said you may be known as Eagle Smasher. Any guy who's feeling self-conscious about his strength should not train with you. Because <laughs> you definitely look more than most men. How about the outlet too? Well, I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to put another plate on and do 20 reps. Someone's yeah. Are you left-handed? I'm right-handed, but I do my left first because it's the weaker side. So if we have an arm wrestle, yeah. could you do it with the left? I can do the left as well. And contrary to many's beliefs, my right is much stronger. I'm like at least 10 to 20%. Yeah, for sure. Were you challenging him? Because I'm a left-hander, so maybe I have a chance, you know, I don't know. Well, let's do it, yeah. We'll do it afterward. Let's see what you got. Especially after all this back, but we're both doing it, so we should be somewhere in the middle. I'm not defeated, no. I'm just getting started. I was getting warmed up too. <laughs> How to kill a power lifter, train with a bodybuilder. <laughs> You're quite literally what this is right now. <laughs>
Okay, twelve it is then. Because he does only eight. Well, that's when it's ten. <laughs> Done. Very impressive. So something I find very challenging when doing a back workout is moderating intensity. Because if you're going too heavy with back movements, you'll move the weight, but you'll shift the stress on the muscle from your back to your biceps if it's too heavy for your back or your back is fatigued. So after what we've done so far, I noticed it on the third warm up set with T-bar row. I'm just getting a bicep pump. I'm not feeling that connection with my back anymore. I'm moving the weight, but it's coming most of my traps and my biceps. And you notice my technique change from here to here because my back is already fatigued. So we're not wasting time and getting her angry. We're going to <laughs> use this machine. It's gonna lighten the load. So not worry about weight here and just focus on that back contraction. So we're not using too much bicep. Uh, and if you're struggling to, to develop your back, you likely just have to use less weight and make sure you feel your back pumping with blood and not your biceps. We are wrapping up today's back session with Connie. The most impressive female back I have ever seen. I'm declaring that right now. And take my opinion as fact. So, <laughs> awesome workout. You nearly killed me at the end there. I hate your offsets. My passion is all about strength training. I like the moving weight from point A to B. Pump work is always secondary to me. I'm not keen on a skin splitting pump. But I do it just because I do care about how I look naked. 
So. <laughs> point there. Exactly. Point. You know. Uh, please follow her. Link down below. Uh, she's always improving. Currently in great shape, and she's not even at her greatest shape because a couple weeks ago you had a show. Yeah. Right? And you part of a bit since then. Yeah, it's my off-season now, so... This is her off-season shape, so imagine when she's on stage. Anyways, thank you for being on the channel. We love having you. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. On a side note, strength, while on TRT, keep you updated. It's fantastic. It's been three months now, about. And I'm actually building from where I started a month uh, off of on cycle from being on TRT. So from the first month I was off till now, I've actually gotten a bit stronger, which is great news for me, because I'm after longevity, something that's sustainable, not on and off, on and off, just want like linear progression and to be healthy while I'm doing it. So thank you for watching. Again, follow her link down below. And please stay tuned for the Black Friday sale, November 18th. It is happening earlier than any other Black Friday sale. We'll be the first on sale to pick the other guys to the punch. And we have camo wraps in several different colors launching that day as well. See you guys soon. Take care.